to Rhea around the corner. And you know, it was meant to be a joke, right? But these guys that my, some of my friends were friends with were also friends with these other girls who didn't really like me very much. So the guys were like, let me put you in the trash where you belong. So they picked me up in my school skirt and they put me in the trash. And I remember I was looking up at them and I was trying to laugh, you know? Like, <sighs> you know? To act like it didn't bother me because I didn't want to show a sign of weakness when really I was holding back the tears so hard because I was so embarrassed that I was in the trash can. So I just want to say to you that I am living proof that if anyone ever puts you in a fucking trash can, you can always get the fuck out. Alright, I like how we're both, yeah. we're both matching right now, We our stances are the same, alright, so what is your name, darling? I am Juan de Jesus. Juan Jesus. So, how many Monster Balls have you been to? This is my fourth. Nice, and is this your first time over in the Virgin Mobile booth? Yes, this is my first time. That's well, you're no longer a virgin, so there you go. Um, so, what does being a little monster mean to you? Being a little monster means you're liberated and open and free and loving to everybody. It's a fun experience and Gaga is a true leader. And where would you be today without being a Lady Gaga fan? I don't know. I'd probably be, I'm from California, so I'd probably be back in California just chilling on my couch. And now I'm in New York living it up. Oh, and um, how long did this outfit take to make? I mean, this is crazy. Oh. Um, this took me all month. I started in the beginning of the month, and I just finished like a week ago. How many Monster Balls have you been to? This is my second one. And what is a little monster to you? What 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 is a little monster? It's someone who's inspired by Lady Gaga. is a little out of control, but I, I'll accept it. How, what, how long did this take? Uh, I've honestly probably been working on this for like the last six months because I actually wore it to a party, but I've been updating it ever since. And I don't know if you can see this, but he even did it to the shoes. They're like bubble the sh wrapped them. They're bubble wrapped. That, that, no words. Anyway, so how many Monster Balls have you been to? This is my first time. This is my first time to a Lady Gaga concert. Speechless. So speechless. <laughs> and uh, what does being a little monster mean to you? I guess it means always being yourself, no matter who you are, even if you have to show up in a whole lot of bubbles. And what, what is the best thing to you about being a Lady Gaga fan? The music. Obviously her music. I love it. I would listen to it all day long. I'm here with two adorable, adorable, adorable little monsters. What's your name? Brianna. And what's your name? Kennedy. Alright. I have to tell you, even though I really want to meet Lady Gaga tonight, I'm very happy I met you two. You two look like celebrities. How do you feel? Excited. Excited. How do you feel? Awesome. Awesome. And you guys look great. How long did these outfits take to make? Half an hour. <laughs> It was easy as one, two, three, wasn't it? All right, when did you guys become Lady Gaga fans? This is like forever. This is forever. How about you? When did you first like start liking Lady Gaga? She came out. So I hope you guys enjoy the show. You both look great. You look adorable. I'm sure you get that all night. Have a good night. Let's just take a let's just take a scan of this outfit right a second real quick.
<laughs> All right, so that's out of control, and I love it. Thank you. What is what is your name? My name's Ruben the Unicorn. Nice. And what is a little monster? What does being a little monster mean to you? Grr, you got to get excited. You got to go crazy. Everybody's here to have a good time. This crowd is amazing. Everybody's so nice. And that's the whole vibe. Just love yourself. Love everybody. And, and how many Monster Balls have you been to? This is my first one. I'm Very nice. And where would you be today without being a Gaga fan? I don't know. She is phenomenal. She really puts her heart in everything and just sings with all her heart. And all of us hear her and we love her. So thank you very much. So much. I need a hug. Come here. Thank you so much. Aww. Mostly because he's wearing fur and it's really cold over here. All right, bye. Thank you. All right. I apologize for how small I am in advance, but this is my friend here, an adorable big little monster. What is your name? John. All right. And how many monster balls have you been to? This is my second. I love it. And what was the inspiration for this ensemble? The VMAs, when she hung herself on stage, and that was the moment I fell in love with her, so had to go back to the roots. Love it. And what is a little monster? What is your definition of a little monster? Just giving her as much love as she gives us. I like that. And where would you be today without being a Lady Gaga fan? I have no idea. I couldn't eat. She's gotten me through so much, I don't even know where I would be. Like, Probably in a gutter dead somewhere. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself. Don't go into any gutters. Please don't go into any gutters. I'll try. I'll try. All right. Thank you. did these outfits take? Ten minutes. Mine took about seven, eight hours to do all together. <laughs> Alright, and how long have we both been Gaga fans? Forever. Since she came out, yeah. like, the first hit, like, Just the Ants was my, one of my favorites, yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> and what is your definition of a little monster? Me. What? Somebody that's fierce and fabulous, that does whatever they want, and lives up to their standards of dreams, and be whoever you want to be, that's all. And where would you both be without being little monsters today? Lost. <laughs> Excuse me? Where, where would you be without being a little monster today? I would be at a club somewhere. <laughs> How long have you been a Lady Gaga fan? Since she has been out? I mean, how can you not love Lady Gaga? What is the best part about being a Lady Gaga fan? That you can be whoever you want, and it's awesome. I would love to. And, and where would you be today without being a Lady Gaga fan? <laughs> Probably a little bit bored <laughs> without the music. <laughs> I look a hot mess, but that's because I was just blown away by this guy's shoes. Can you just look at his shoes real quick? That is bananas. That's totally insane. I love it. And how long did it take to make those shoes? Um, actually, I did the. It came with a um, another costume attached, but I didn't want to wear it tonight. But um, the whole thing took me around two to three days. Nice. And when did you first become a Gaga fan? Um. Oh, geez, maybe two or three years ago. What is your definition of a little monster? Someone who devotes their entire life to Lady Gaga and her music and trying to impact the world in a great way. And where would you be today without being a little monster and a Gaga fan? Oh, I don't even know. On the street somewhere, I'm actually majoring in theater performance right now, which, you know, I get a lot from people that I look up to, like Lady Gaga, you know, the passion and the dedication and the courage to do stuff like that and follow my dreams. So I thank her and other um, pop icons for the inspiration to do that. Right, well, thank you so much. I need a monster hug. Oh, absolutely.
on the Virgin Mobile Live call and it was an amazing emotional moment. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I can't believe that just happened and I'm so thankful. All right, and how long have you been a Gaga fan for? I've been a Gaga fan since I first saw her coming out on the hills and I fell in love with her outfit and ever since she's been my idol and I love her so much. And um, how did you feel when you found out that you would get to go backstage? I couldn't believe it and when it happened I was just in awe. And uh, where would you be today without being a little monster? I don't know because she's the one that keeps me going. Like she pushes me when I listen to her songs. She's so positive and that just rubs off on me and makes me continue everything I do. All right, well you look like, give me a monster hug.